Hello, welcome again to Mr. Pieri Reads Aloud. In this uh, story we have today, it's really kind of strange because we have a goldfish who wants a pet. It's called Gilbert Goldfish Wants a Pet by Kelly DiPuccio, illustrated by Bob Shea. Gilbert Goldfish Wants a Pet. To any outsider, Gilbert had everything a goldfish could ever want. A magnificent stone castle, a treasure chest full of gold, and a feast of tasty flakes that fell from the sky just in time for breakfast every day. But the one thing that Gilbert did not have was the very thing that he most desperately wanted. A pet. Sometimes he imagined his pet would be small, Sometimes big, sometimes really big. And sometimes Gilbert imagined his pet would have fur, or feathers, or floppy ears. But every day and always, Gilbert imagined what it would be like to have a pet to care for and love. And then one day, Gilbert woke up to find a dog barking at him. Gilbert blinked his eyes to make sure he wasn't dreaming. The dog wagged his tail and licked the bowl. And Gilbert swam around and around in happy circles. The dog ran around in happy circles too. A pet! Gilbert gloved. I have a pet! The dog barked and barked and barked some more. Woo, 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 woo. Gilbert never dreamed his pet would be so noisy, woo, 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 or so thirsty. And a week passed, and a very tired Gilbert woke up, and the barky bark dog was gone. The castle was quiet again. Gilbert was just a teensy bit relieved. And then a few days later, Gilbert noticed a small gray mouse peering at him through the glass. Gilbert's little fishy heart went pitter pot patter swish. The mouse licked her paws and sniffed the bowl. Gilbert swam around and around in happy circles. The mouse, who thought Gilbert was a large chunk of cheddar cheese, ran around and around in circles too. A pet! Gilbert glubbed happily. I have a quiet pet! The mouse sniffed and sniffed and sniffed some more. And when the hungry mouse determined that Gilbert was not, in fact, a block of cheese, she ran away. And she never came back. Gilbert's little fishy heart went pitter-patter, plop. More time passed, and Gilbert had just about given up on his dream when a fly landed on the rim of his bowl. Well, hello there, little fellow, said Gilbert. Gilbert called out cheerfully to him. The startled fry buzzed around in circles. Bzz, 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 bzz. And Gilbert jumped up, and the wide-eyed fly was there to greet him in midair. A pet, Gilbert gloved. I have a quiet, friendly thwack. Oh, my poor fly and poor Gilbert. He cried enough tears to fill a ten-gallon aquarium. In the morning, Gilbert opened his eyes. Somebody was watching him. Gilbert gulped. Somebody flicked its long tail and wiry whiskers. Gilbert cautiously swam around and around in circles. Somebody followed. Gilbert jumped. Somebody jumped too. Hmm, Gilbert thought, eyeing the curious new creature before him. Not too bad. Not too loud, not too rude, and not too squished. A pet, Gilbert gloved. I have the perfect pet. You look kind of hungry, Gilbert said. Would you like to join me for breakfast? The creature moved in closer and closer and closer. And then it took a big bite of a delicious green flake. The pink ones are really good, too, Gilbert said with a smile. 
Would you like me to show you around the castle? Now Gilbert really does have everything a goldfish could ever want, including a pet named Fluffy. The...